Investigative Journalism 2.0 in China refers to the work mostly done in the um, Internet age, which has created a huge space for journalists to collect information and to collaborate with each other on the Internet. Uh, it also means the rise of citizen journalism who are doing the stories themselves because they are at the scene. Weibo is the Chinese equivalent of Twitter, as we know here, but it's more robust and powerful than Twitter. It has um, 300 to 500 million users. Well, Guo Mei Mei is this young woman who posted her uh, flamboyant uh, lifestyle online, posting, her posting with fancy cars, and she also called herself a general business manager of the Red Cross Society in China, which is a very powerful philanthropy organization managed by the state. So internet users got very curious and, and then start searching for her other information online. And then they challenged the Red Cross if she abuses of her position, if she really a the employee. So that became a national story. So everyone is digging for, for her information online. And the Red Cross has to clarify um, donations to the Red Cross dropped. Um, and uh, it shows the power of Weibo for the public to monitor power. Being an investigative journalist in China is not easy. You risk censorship, you risk jail, um, safety of your life. Uh, but there are many good investigative journalists there who are pushing the envelope, try to get the story out. And the internet, in the, particularly in the case of Weibo, have as a very powerful tool um, that created space for journalists.